Hey everybody, happy Turtle Tuesday. In this video, I want to talk about the new TMNT Adventures 4-pack from Playmates Toys. So this is uh, Wave 2 of what's been an Amazon exclusive. And what you can see here is the uh, box that the 4-pack came in. And um, sorry if you're hearing some background noise um, because it is starting to get cooler out. My pet turtle is back in the turtle room, and she wants to splash around and make noise right now. Uh, so, <laughs> um, but I wanted to do this video in the turtle room since this is a Turtle Talk Tuesday video, and obviously we're talking about this second set of figures. So, a lot of people have kind of had, uh, you know, certain kind of feelings about uh, these particular figures. I think they are great. If you watched uh, my video on Wave 1 and, um, you know, I talked about just how, you know, for the price and just how nostalgic the packaging is, um, I love these figures. I think they're great. And this box is really cool as well. You've got Ray Filet on one side. You've got Splinter driving the van. On the other side, you've got Donatello and you can see Splinter from another view. And then on the back, Michelangelo. So, like I said, this four-pack is an Amazon exclusive. I Last time I checked, it was still available, uh, if you're interested. Um, and I just, I love these little boxes that are like the van. Um, so, I have my camera positioned here, so you can actually see uh, right there the Leonardo and the Raphael from Wave 1. And I was concerned uh, how, you know, they didn't seem very popular. I was worried we weren't going to get the other two turtles. And then just... Bam, we got them. So we got them uh, uh, pretty quick, too. I mean, it's only been, what, a couple months since Wave 1 came out. Um, so here is Mikey and Donnie. And that completes the four brothers. So uh, very, very happy about that. Um, so these guys, they kind of have... Uh, they're supposed to be based off of, like, the Adventures uh, comic books. But these kind of sort of more... Um, I think they're supposed to be like more like Mirage inspired turtles. So they're basically like repaints of the Mirage figures. But I really like the way these look. I know a lot of people uh, don't agree with me, but I just think that they're really neat looking with like the textures and kind of like the wrinkles and the, you know, the, the dinged up shell. I just think they look cool. And I really, really love the way they look on card. So here is the wave of four. And then, you know, the back just looks basically exactly like the original Ninja Turtle figures from uh, 88, 89. So I just really like the way these look. I like the colors. I like, you know, the just, I think that they're cool. I think that they're really neat. Um, you know, obviously, you know, unique kind of takes on the figures. And as you can see, I can now complete my set because... I have the first two hanging up there, and uh, as you can see from my wall here, I have various iterations of the Four Brothers on card, um, and now I'm going to have basically my wall will be complete, basically. So I'm very happy about that. All right, so... That completes the set of brothers, but of course we have to look at the other figures, which is this Splinter. And, you know, I really love this too. Like, this is, uh, you know, Splinter in a very, I mean, I guess I shouldn't say very different, but, you know, it got some different color highlights on his uh, kimono. He's got, like, the pupils. Um, sorry, my turtle is splashing around there. <laughs> um... But yeah, I just, I love the way that this one looks, and uh, this is going to go on my my splinter wall, uh, so if I can move the camera, if you haven't seen my turtle room in a while, I have a section there just for mint on card splinter figures from various different versions, so that is where this guy is going to go, uh, looking forward to kind of hanging him up with the rest of his uh, splinter uh, brethren. Uh, and again, the back of the packaging is just the same on all of these. And then, well, what can I say, but I had to take this guy out. 
so this is the uh, the Ray Filet. Let me zoom in here a little bit. Uh, this is the Ray Filet that comes in this four pack, and I just think this guy looks so cool. I love the alternate color scheme. Um, you know, he, he just looks great. And yes, I took him off the card because I wanted to play around with him. I wanted to have him out and, and just enjoy the figure for what it was. Again, these figures are very affordable. I think they're like 12 bucks each, uh, because the four pack is, um, 50 bucks on Amazon. And I just think he looks so cool. Um, I have a vintage Ray Filet that's mint on card, um, so I just didn't feel the need to keep this guy on card the way I did with the Mondo Gecko. Um, if you want a little comparison here, here is a vintage Ray Filet in the uh, blue and yellow colors. I mean, these guys, look how cool they look. I mean, they, you know, they look like they could be brothers. Uh, you can, you can have the vintage and the repainted, uh, Ray Filet in your collection, and they just look so cool together. Now, this Ray Filet, he did come with his little buddy. His other little buddy. And as far as I can tell, here's his gun. These are, like, pretty much identical to the uh, the vintage one. So um, I don't want to get them mixed up. <laughs> I do want to keep them kind of separate. Um, but yeah, I think that this Ray Filet is so fun. Um, you know, I think they based it on like the comic book colors, um, you know, but obviously there's going to be some differences, uh, since it's just a repaint of the vintage toy. Um, but very fun figure. And I just, I really have loved these four packs. These Amazon four packs have been fun, different versions. I think they look amazing on card. And, uh, yeah, so that is my quick review of the Amazon exclusive TMNT Adventures 4-pack Wave 2, and, um, I don't know if they're going to do any more, but if they do, I am looking forward to what they're going to be. So, feel free to, uh, let me know what you think of these figures in the comments, and if you, uh, have not subscribed to the channel yet, I would really appreciate it. I'm getting closer and closer to a thousand subscribers, and I would really love to do that before the end of the year. Uh, thanks for watching, and have a good one.